Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. It's lovely to have you here and I hope you're going to enjoy your time. So today I decided to catch you up on what's happening with my A pen, A palette eyeshadow um, project pen, that's what it is. <laughs> Get it together, Sandra. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to update you on the previous palettes. So if you didn't know, I usually work on five palettes at a time that I generate with a random generator and then I choose which shadow I want to work on from that palette myself. So, the previous five palettes I worked on, I'm gonna be honest, I fell off a bit of them and I didn't really use them since the last update. There's a hair stuck in my lip gloss. There we go. So, there's not a lot to update you on, but I'm gonna show you what palettes I worked on and then we're gonna just reset. I said it in my very first update that if I use up five shadows, I can reset what I'm working on and I never really opted in for that because I enjoyed what I'm using on up until last update and there's no particular reason for that i just didn't feel like reaching for these shadows i guess so we're gonna reset that and hope it's gonna spark some joy so the first two palettes i worked on are from the ColourPop and animal crossing collection i'm not really gonna show pens because there's nothing new to show so i worked on nook ink which is the more green one and it's the this green one that I never really reached for after last update. I found it quite hard to pen. I don't know why because I penned two of the other ones in the previous updates. And then the other one was this yellow from the Five Star Island. Yes, the Five Star Island palette. So again, we're gonna say goodbye to these for now. The only one I managed to make quite good progress on is this one again this is from Colourpop and it's the Creamsicle Pressed Powder Palette and I was working on on a stick or Dreamful um, this a dark shade and I will insert a picture here of what it looked like but I'm pretty sure I have a picture I think either way I was so close to hitting pen and then it shattered on me and I had to repress it I think it's because the shadow itself is quite fragile and this has quite a strong closing mechanism so it managed to break the shadow once it was quite a big dip so um but the next palette i worked on is the w7 on the rock so i just tried to whisk past these and the shade is bellini which is a really nice shade but it's quite light on pigment it's not super pigmented but it was nice to use it together with the shade from the pure and ruby Beauty palette which was the mi orange now, from this palette, I already have a pen on the more natural side of it. I'm trying not to blind you, oops, with the mirror. But it already has a pen on that shade and quite a significant one. So, you know, I guess it's all, I guess it's all right. Um, but I was working on this orange shade and it was nice, like these two together and also the creamsicle palette. But I just, I just want to start new because, you know, new year, new shadows to work on. So... That's what we're gonna go with. And what I've already done, I've already rolled the next few palettes. So I have a screen recording so you can see it on the screen while I talk about them so you can see I did not cheat. But I managed to um, roll in quite a few of my new shadows. So I'm gonna just decide what shadows I'm gonna work on and then we're gonna share that with you. All right, choosing took a bit longer than expected, but here we go. Um, that's a little sneak peek of the color story. It's a bit more of a, um, more neutral than what I normally go for I guess but you know I just felt like this is a nice nice easy and neutral palette to start the year so the first palette I rolled in is this one from Catrice and this is the Lavender Breeze Pro Slim Eyeshadow Palette which it is it is really slim and I managed to roll in again quite a few of my new palettes um so I guess it's a good way to get a bit more use out of them and a bit more playtime so this is a really nice and neutral color story. Let me bring it closer so you can actually see it. And I haven't actually had a lot of chance to play around with it. I use it two or three times, but not an awful lot. So this will be a nice way for me to play with it. And the shade I'm gonna use, oh no, it's not Dreamer. That's what I wanted to use originally. 
but I decided to go for Elegant. So Elegant is a, this more grey toned shade, but it's still a brown, it's just a more grey toned brown, which in here it looks more grey, but on the hand it has a hint of brown to it, and I think this will be a really nice neutral transition shade for some more cooler tone looks, which admittedly I don't necessarily go for a hell of a lot, but I think that could be nice if I wanted to, I can even just use it as a really light liner. So I think I can get some nice use out of that. And then next we rolled in this icon, which is the Colourpop Lizzie McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of palette. And I didn't even have to think about which shade I'm going to go with. Now, I love this palette in general. I love the colour story. It's really nice and pastel with a hint of slightly darker shades to deepen it up. I think it's perfect for the springtime. I know it's still the winter, but my head in January is already in spring. It's a sunny day as well, which helps. But I decided to go for this shade, which is called Bye Bye, uh, which is this nice, like, shimmery, champagne-y kind of color, and I, I love that shade in my inner corner. It's such a nice, creamy, soft formula as well, so I'm gonna work on that one. I don't think that's gonna be a problem for me at all. And I'm not sure how much you can see, but it's that reflective shade down there. I don't think my camera wants to focus. I don't know how much you can see. There we go. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I love it. And can we lighten up? Here we go. So the next palette I rolled in, I think I'm going in the right order here, is another Catrice palette. Um, is it? No. I think next I roll in the I Heart Revolution Disney Little Mermaid palette. Now again, this is one of those palettes that I had for a while, but I haven't actually paid an awful lot with it. So on one side it has eyeshadows and it has a cheek products on the other side. I'm not exactly sure of my feelings on this. A few times I used it, I preferred the cheek products. So this will give me a good opportunity to again get my head, you know, in an idea of how I am on these shadows, if that sentence made sense. But none of the colours actually called out to me when I was looking at the other colours. I didn't want it to go too bright at all, so I decided to go with Scuttle, which is this more neutral shadow that I use every single day, a shadow like that, to just set the upper part of my eyeshadow primer so any transition shade is easy to blend into. So I thought that would be a useful shade to reach into and then if I want to play with color, I can, sorry, I have these weird hiccups, then I can reach into the other shades and I think I will have to just bring this out and play with it a bit more anyway. So, you know, that will give me a good, I don't know, understanding of the palette, I guess, but I just wanted to work on this and it seems like it has a side slight shine to it. Not an awful lot, but you can't really see it as a cream shade, so it's literally the same color as my skin. But that's what I decided to go with. And then to talk about more interesting shadows, we have another Cat Chris palette. I only bought two and I managed to roll in both. So this is again the Pro Slim Eyeshadow palette, but this is the Next Gen Nudes. So this one is a more neutral with slight pink tones to it. It's another beautiful palette. And from this one, I decided to go with the shade Love. I also quite like Classy, which is this brown, but I decided to go for something pink and I think this will go nicely with the next shade. But anyway, here we go. That's that pink color. I think it's a really nice, slightly deeper, pinky shade but still more on a neutral side it's nothing too over the top and I don't know why I'm feeling neutral so I love colors but I just wanted to use that shade so we're gonna go with love and then the last palette we rolled in is another one I actually love and it's another color pop one so this is the all forest site so <laughs> after working on the pure and very beauty christy we can work on the color pop and very beauty christy palette and this palette has loads of beautiful shades now I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this palette and originally I wanted to work on the shade Rainier, I think, Rainier, I think is that how you pronounce it, or is that a mushroom? I had this issue last time, but I decided not to do that because it's that kind of shade that I was working on last time around in the Colourpop palette, so I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't want to repeat a warm tone shade, and also it was not going fully well with the rest of the cool tone shades. 
So I decided to go for old growth and then that's why I also swapped out the previous pink shade in the first palette of Catrice for this more grey one so then I can work on old growth which is just more dusty pink in this palette. So again, it's that shadow on the top and I quite like the colour story. It's really natural for me but again that's what I wanted this time around. I just felt like I've worked on so many colours lately. I feel like this will give me a bit of a breather. This is something that I can easily, you know, incorporate in my life every single day. And if I want, I can still reach for colors either from these palettes or from something else. They all have plenty of color, especially, you know, this one has loads of color. The Little Mermaid is brimming with color and then so does the Lizzie McGuire one. So I just thought this will be a fun way to have color and ready if I want, but also I can just give myself a bit of a breather and work on more neutral shades. That can work with so many either neutral or more colorful shades. So that's it. Let me know what you think and also what eyeshadows are you working on? I would love to know. And how many eyeshadows do you work on? Is five too much? I feel like five is a good in-between number, but either way, I'm gonna go now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing, would love to have you here. But now I'm gonna go and bye. Hope to see you next time.